Hey y'all, welcome back. Let's continue the tour. So I'm still trying to decide how I'm going to maneuver through um all oh, this is nice so this is the name of the land um in carved pumpkins i'm still trying to figure out how i'm going to like maneuver um vlogtober i don't know if i want to kind of do some like half halloween half uh oh okay we're gonna see what's going going on on the end of this if i'm gonna do like half halloween half fall or like a mix throughout where it's not like specifically fall in the beginning and halloween stuff on the end i don't know i don't know we're definitely going to get both because both um is still going on um in second life look at those eyes but i just i want it to be I'm trying to make things be cohesive and it's going to be both seasons. So it's going to be cohesive regardless, in my opinion. Oh, what is this? Oh, is he like, is he have wings? He has wings. Okay. He looks nice and spooky. This is where I would expect for somebody looking like him to be just right in the middle of this looking spooky this is cute this is funny because this is supposed to have like a spooky aspect to it but it's pretty with the neon so it's not giving spooky for me at all at all what's over here i love just kind of oh spiders if anybody got issues with spiders my bad i don't have any um i won't be having any prior knowledge of what's going on on these lands so i don't know if i should put like a disclaimer for some stuff if the land gives a disclaimer then i'll show the dis because that lady was not there a second ago if um the land gives a disclaimer then i'll add the land's disclaimer because i don't uh i don't know what's gonna be on these lands i'm, I'm gonna give it a trillion i don't know and second life during halloween time they good for having stuff jump out on you and stuff like that i wanted to dress up for halloween and be like real spooky and stuff like that but i don't want to get my video flagged um because of the thumbnail i went through quite a bit of that well only like two times but it should have been zero i went through that when um i was doing april diamonds they was flagging my video saying like oh you're dressed like too inappropriate on the thumbnail so we're gonna make this for 18 and older which was weird because i said all of my videos not made for adults so i would think that since i already clicked that my videos are not made for adults that it will automatically be for 18 or older but apparently not for whatever reason and so they flagged a couple of my videos i re i distinctly remember two but it could have been more than that but it was definitely two and i don't want none of my stuff being flagged i just don't they have this little path over here okay so this is like another you know what we did see a sitting area it was like that little wheelbarrow thing it kind of looked like this um but not exactly like this it was like a brownish color so they do have little dipped off spaces where you can um sit what was that you see what i mean i don't know who that is but so yeah they'll have like things popping out and stuff like that and i'm like it it can be a bit of a jump scare but i'm like i don't have any way of predicting that or letting you guys know that that is gonna happen or if it would happen so i'll make sure that when i come to these lands i will definitely is there anything in here no when i come to these lands i will definitely definitely look to see if they have any signage about like some of the things that we might see on the land in case it might be triggering for some people i know some people um have like sphere of spiders and things like that and then i don't like the holes and stuff like that so just you know if there's any disclaimers i'll let you guys know um before we even venture around the land just so that we, everybody can be on the up and up and we don't have no type of negative experiences 
I do want us to be able to enjoy these spaces together. Oh, this is pretty. I do want us to be able to enjoy these spaces together and then not be triggering to anybody in any kind of way. Um, I'm not really big into holidays in real life. Um, so I don't like celebrate stuff, you know, but I will say because my son enjoys um, certain holidays and things like that, we will partake in them simply because i don't know i feel like even though i have my own views on things it's difficult for me oh look at these sunflowers it's difficult for me to kind of just like deprive my son of them because it's something that i have feelings about these are not feelings that i've always had so like we, we, we can talk you know we cool like that so like i don't like Christmas or like Halloween in real life. However, my son likes to go trick or treating. He wants the candy. He wants the candy. Do we do spooky costumes and stuff like that? Absolutely not. He's Spider Man through and through. He's Spider Man indefinitely to the point as to where I don't even know why I ask him what he wants to be for Halloween because it's always Spider Man. I myself have a Mrs. Potato Head costume that I have been recycling because it's like a little onesie type uh thing and i'm cool with that i'm the same thing every year so i don't like to deprive him of things like that because it's like i do feel like it's okay for him to experience those things and he understands how i feel about them so it's like we don't go overboard with it but i do want him to have those um experiences when I was little, I didn't, I, I've never been trick-or-treating. The first time I went trick-or-treating, I took my son trick-or-treating. And I didn't, it wasn't that I didn't go trick-or-treating because um, my mom and dad didn't believe in it. We just didn't do it. It was really just no other real reason other than that. Um, but when my son said that he wanted to experience that, I didn't want to deprive him of that simply because I had never experienced it or because of the way that I feel about um, the holidays. I don't really feel like it, I don't wanna say like it's a, like I don't, it's a belief thing because it's really not. For me, it's just like, I don't, I don't feed into the narrative of it. Like a lot of people say, you know, they feel like Halloween is like wicked and it's like the devil's uh, holiday. My grandmother used to say it's the devil's birthday and things like that. But I feel like you have to be in a space where you believe in things like that to actually um, allow it to um, affect the way you interact with it or if you interact with it at all so for me i don't look at it like that i do feel like it's like a a chill time for kids to kind of just like explore their creativity they get to dress up and stuff like that it's a lot of times kids are not scary things the older kids will they like to put on the scary costumes and stuff like that but for the most part when i take them trick-or-treating the kids are like superheroes princesses and things like that so it's nothing like demonic i don't see anybody dressed as like devils or anything that's kind of just like would make people feel some type of way everyone is just pretty much like it's like dress up time they put on like their favorite caricature uh, caricatures and things like that and they just be out there collecting candy that's it and so that's just how I look at it. And when it comes to um, Christmas, I, I feel like, I just, I feel like it's just, it's a money grab. That's my, that's my biggest thing with Christmas. That's my biggest thing with Christmas. I, I definitely feel like it is a money grab. And for that reason, I don't like it. And my son, he goes through a lot where he's actually like trying to, find things to put on his list because it's one of those things where it's like what do you ask for when you have everything like you, everything that you would want and desire you already have it so what, what what's it gonna be so because that's where we are now i'm like i'm gonna take a trip i want to take a trip you don't have a christmas list because you don't have anything that you would want to put on your christmas list because everything that you would have wanted you already have already and that's always been my whole thing ask for what you want during the year so for Christmas, we can catch a flight because I'm in Chicago. And one thing about the shy, it's cold as hell in December. 
it's cold as hell in December. It's even colder in January. So I'm like, if, if we could be up out of here and in somebody else's street where it is hot all year round, I'd rather do that. I would much, much rather do that. When you add up all the money that um, a lot of people spend on Christmas and for Christmas, that's a flight with a, in a really nice hotel with a couple of excursions. And that's what I would rather do with the money. That's what I would rather do with the money. He thoroughly enjoys um, vacationing and things like that. So I think he would be open to it. Well, we talked about it. He's not really open to it right now because for some reason he feels like he's gonna be missing out on something. But I honestly feel like these lemons look so good. I love me a good lemon. I honestly feel like he thinks that He's going to be missing out on something. What? I, I don't know. I don't know what he thinks he's going to be missing out on. But uh, I can guarantee him it ain't going to be much. So, yeah, those are just my feelings on those um, quote unquote holidays. I just, you know, I'm going to feel how I'm going to feel. And that's just what it is. When he gets older, we'll revisit um, these things. But for now, I just, I don't know. I, I want to let him enjoy it and grow his own opinions on things i don't want to put any ideals in his head i want him to come up with how he feels about things on his own and he's done a fantastic job thus far so i already know that that's going to continue so we're gonna let him pace himself when it comes to that so look how spooky all of this looks i love this they did a really good job on this land. A really good job on this land. This land is really nice. It is quite large. However, it doesn't seem like it's like really, really walkie walkie, which I do like that. They got the little horsies over here. Super cute. I don't think you can come in. Hey, hey handsome. Um, okay, what would you like? It's not food, it's a drink. You want a frappe? No, I want, I want a sweet tea. You want a sweet tea? Yes. Okay, give me about 10 minutes. I'm still recording. Okay, thank you, baby. No, <laughs> Aiden, get your life together. So, yeah, I'll make you some sweet tea. Just give, give me about yeah, give me about 10 minutes. I'm almost done with this video. Okay, thank you, baby. You, you're welcome, Aiden. So they did a really good job on this land. It is, when I panned out, it is a large land. However, they have things very nicely spaced out. It is quite walky, but it's meant to be. They have the little horsies over here. Super nice. So I do like that they do have things um, quite spaced out, but it's almost like things are kind of like sectioned off. And I really like that because it gives you the opportunity to kind of like be in a whole different kind of feel um, of space. So um, a different kind of feeling when you're in a different space. So like this gives very like, I'm all going through my body. This is very like a harvest type feast. All this meat, 
Um, it's lots of meat over here, right here. Oh, what's on these tables? Let's see. So this does seem like a, a feast area. It's like a little with picnic tables. Is this like all meat? This reminds me of that, what do they call it? That Belkin or whatever. Belkin meal when they just kind of like eating the meat with the peppers and things like that all together very rustic like so yeah so it's like lots of food over here and things like that so it's like you would never imagine that it's like a pumpkin patch not too far from here like i do like how they have things spaced out is that the same thing on this table and then once again they have like the lights around and everything so that it's still lit this is a very like intimate type feel but still i'm um, very open and inviting i like that i do like that it has like the little red hues so it does have that element of spookiness what is this and then it's like you pay close enough attention you can catch like little things going on so this the headless horseman over here they decorated this space a really nice a really really nice i'm like okay this is our first um this is our first halloween space and i'm loving it i really am i really really loving it y'all so yeah you guys see you guys tomorrow